When we first started booking appointments for one of our clients, we weren't actually collecting any payment up front. So what happened was that a lot of the appointments that we were actually booking were no shows. And this was something that really like didn't look good on our end. The quick way to fix this was that we started collecting payment up front. So initially we were advertising a free consulta- uh, 50 minute consultation, but most of the leads were not showing up. So what we did was we started charging a deposit up front. So whether it was for a paid consultation or if they wanted to book directly, uh, we would just do like a hundred dollar deposit as well. So with that, we were able to solve two problems by collecting payment. So the first one was leads, like the leads that we were booking I, were actually showing up because no person was going to go ahead and pay a deposit and then not show up. And the second thing was that in the eyes of our client, we looked more professional. And the reason why was because not only were we collecting payment, but this payment that we were collecting, we weren't even seeing ourselves. It was going directly to, to our client's uh, Stripe account. So it really left like a good impression. Like, yeah, without any further ado, let me show you how we did it. And yeah, possibly you can integrate this in your agency as well. So now I'm going to show you three things. The first, how to connect Stripe with Go High Level. The second is going to be the two different methods that you can use to send payments to leads. And then third, I'm going to show you how to, whether or not the lead has paid the deposit. So, okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect Stripe with go ahead level so in the launchpad tab you're going to go ahead to where it says stripe and hit connect once you hit connect you're going to be taken to this page and from here you will have to ask your client to fill out the information so in order to do this what you have to do is create a user for them and like you can just do it right here and just give them limited access just so that they're able to go into Launchpad and do this step themselves. So after they hit Stripe, you're gonna go ahead and follow some steps. Once your client has gone ahead and connected their Stripe, you'll see that the message here says, congratulations, Stripe is connected to your account. And another way to check this is if you go into settings, integrations, and then uh, here on Stripe, you see that it says Stripe live mode is enabled. The test mode is enabled as well. And this one I haven't really played with at all, but I'm curious to see like if you guys have done it or yeah, maybe if you turn this on, you might be able to collect Apple Pay and Google Pay deposits or payments on your client's behalf. So yeah, it's something worth looking into. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the two ways that you can send payments. So the first way is a simple way which is you just go ahead and in conversations under the conversation history of the lead that you're going to send the deposit to, you go ahead and select request payment, and then you just give it a name or price. You would just do a hundred bucks. And then for the due date, what I like to do is select it for the next day so that they have some sort of urgency and they go ahead and and, uh, pay that. And then you can do copy link and mark as sent and then uh, you have the link right here. You could also add some text like, and then just send it. A lot of the times, uh, as you see right here, I just send the link itself after they've confirmed that they're okay paying the deposit. Now, the second way is a little bit longer and it's you go here into payments and then you select new, new invoice. Now here you can select a image. So what we do is we go ahead and put down the logo of our client's business. And then here you would just select the lead that you're going to send this to. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a test account and you can select an item. If you've already saved an item, it's going to show up here. So you can see, uh, I have a few, but if not, then you can just do new item. You can do deposit and then, uh, you just, for the price name, you do the same for product type, uh, you can select service and then you can just do a hundred bucks save for later use so that next time you will see it uh, right here then you do save and you can see that uh, the amount and everything is preloaded let me just go ahead and yeah issue date for today and then the due date is for as i said a day after or in this case i'll just do it for a few days afterwards you can go ahead and select send and now here you can see that it gives you the option to send uh, the invoice over email and text i'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but I'll still show you how it looks like uh, on their end. 
So here, back in the conversations through the first method, they'll go ahead and just see the link right here. And now with the second option, what they'll what it'll show is it'll show something like this. Like this, you can't edit. This is just like something that high level sends automatically. So in this case, it's hi so and so. So and so sends you an invoice for a hundred bucks that's due on whatever. Here's the invoice link. Best. But the good thing about sending it through the second way that I showed you is that the client gets both a text message and an email. You might be wondering, hey, how do I know once they've paid that deposit? So if you send the payment through the second method that I showed you, once the lead pays their invoice, high level will send this text message and email automatically. So it'll say, hey, Ali, we're glad to inform you that you have confirmed your payment of hundred bucks. Thank you. And then the email will say the same thing. After we receive that text, we message our client and let them know that a lead has actually gone ahead and paid a deposit to their Stripe account and we've confirmed the appointment. Uh, if you just send the link, it's a little bit more tricky. You would have to go here into payments and then uh, transactions and then just see if you see the person having successfully paid the hundred bucks. So you have to be more on your toes and just see individual transactions. And depending on the amount of leads that are paying deposits, it might be hard to track. And for us, it's not a problem. It's not like we're booking like 10 consults a day. So we can just go here and it will show. All right, guys. So I hope you found that helpful. And now you're prepared to collect payment on your client's behalf. Yeah, if you have any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and link my Instagram in the description so you can just send me a message. I'll help you as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.